Same with Leno. The uh, yes. drama last night was uh, fantastic. Uh, John told you it was a 20-person goon squad chasing after you. <laughs> so uh, fill me in. What happened? As I uh, stayed for as long as I could, and then I right. had to get. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's my first time going through this whole process, so it's in a way almost like a game. You, you've got a deadline, and you've got to go out, almost like a scavenger hunt or something. Yeah. <laughs> and we had a team yeah. all prearranged, and we had to get 300 signatures from delegates by 11 p.m. Uh, to make it a little, a little more difficult, some hurdles were put in our way. For yeah, example, yeah. 50 of my delegates' ballots just disappeared while we were checking in. And Hence the sign about the missing ballots going around. There were missing ballots, just mine, not my opponent's. And so why that matters is, yeah, they got no one was disenfranchised, everyone got to vote. But it took about an hour to have to hand write everyone's name and number on each of these ballots. So that ate up some of our time to get these signatures. And then once the vote was taken and we conceded that we lost, the winner wanted a recount. And the rules allow for a recount. But the winner wanted it. We didn't. Huh. We said, we lost. No, we want a recount. I have to go through the whole thing again. That ate up another 25 minutes. And so then, finally, about 8.15 or so, we get to hit the streets to get our 300. And we're given one sheet of paper. We have to go get a photocopy. We have to distribute it to all of our team. One sheet of paper, 300 names. So the rules were really set up for the challenger to fail. Hmm. Uh, and I really think that this new generation of democratic activists, mm -hmm. a lot of the folks who are involved with the blogosphere, and the, the, the net roots folks, the mm -hmm. grassroots folks, are seeing this has all been constructed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to protect an incumbency right. and to keep people out, not bring people in. And I think we're going to be looking at this. And we really should reform. be looking yeah. at yeah. the whole yeah, delegate structure. Mm -hmm. this, this didn't come down from the heavens and stone. Someone created all of this. We should review it. Just take it all off the table and say, how could we do this better? What's a more representative way of electing our party's chosen nominee? What's going to happen today now since we've got all this out? So now that we got the signatures and we got twice as many as was needed, which I think really speaks to the kind of goodwill there is here and an awareness of this particular race now that did, did not have this kind of visibility statewide when we came in Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. So that has been part of our effort to build up the visibility and communicate with people what the issue is. And yes, we don't always take on an incumbent, but when we do, there's a reason. What are the reasons in this unique situation? And people were very friendly and uh, forthcoming with their support. So hopefully almost or all of those 600 will stay today to cast a vote. So we know that uh, Bill Clinton speaking on behalf of Hillary mm -hmm. and Kamala Harris is speaking on behalf of Senator Obama this mm -hmm. morning. But prior to that, we're going to try and get through the business of the House. And there are a number of races that need to be yeah. voted on. Mm -hmm. And then there's a consent calendar. And so that's coming up. And, uh, my you. first time through this process we'll come back as well. To you. But I, we're feeling very confident. Okay. Come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.